What is going on, everybody? You're McLaren Speech Chat World Champion. We're back. Law. We're going to be flying around with the law videos because uh, our time is now. So we're going into, again, EBO 1, though. The top deck is still Sakazuki because, dang, that deck is, like, bulletproof. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe they, like, uh, it was already an insane deck. And then in OPL 6, they're like, let's make it even stronger and give them another search and the Murakomo, like, event to bottom deck. So, yeah, it's just, uh, Sakazuki is a big problem, not just for us, but for everyone. The main Sakazuki that is a, an issue, though, is the stage Sakazuki, because of our build. Again, the majority of our cards are 4-cost, so if they get the stage set up, the stage gives them a free minus 1, and then their leader ability with attacking gives them minus 1. So that puts any of your 4-cost at 2, so that means they can just drop, uh, like, hot blaze and stuff, whatever and not have to do any other kind of cost reduction so messing around to try to be able to compete against them for now because uh i feel like again that's the best deck so i feel like the majority of people i don't see no that's no reason why they wouldn't still be running that because <laughs> sakazuki is insanely strong but we can compete a little bit better now but the reason for some of the my choices in this one i think in the future, you can definitely drop down, I feel like, Zoro down to, like, two or completely get rid of him if you want to do a more control build. But with how strong, like, Sakazuki and stuff is, I've been uh, needing to run, like, four and four just so we can rush. Because, again, if they get the stage set up, that's everything that we have just going to be gone. <laughs> so being able to at least rush is, in some opportunities, our only kind of chance when you get those uh, chances. Um, but, yeah, besides that, though... Card draw build, obviously Ray is super clutch, but I got a four stack of Queen as well, because uh, again, Sakazuki, the leader ability lets them card filter, and then they have two searches. They have a one cost Sushigi search, and the two cost brand new, so they're able to search at will, like whatever they need, whatever Navy cards they can do. So to be able to try to keep up pace, because again, we gotta play defense when we can with like some 2Ks sometimes, but then also making sure we can get our power reduction or and stuff like that, so. So I got Queen, so we have Queen and Ray to give us some card draw, and then playing around that is just uh, sort of the regular characters. Uh, Max and Gordon, I feel like, uh, again, you can drop this down to the six, like if you want to get rid of two, like you could totally, I feel like you get can get away with that. I'm just doing four stack stacks for right now to keep things kind of simple. But yeah, if you want to drop that down to add any more, like two costs and things like that, you can. Uh, I've got the two Otama, and then we have two Kamazo, because again, in the Sakazuki matchup, once they're able to flood out the board with those searchers, it's very, very annoying, because then when they're dropping Hound Blaze, they can use the 3k from Hound Blaze and put their searchers to be able to attack, and it's uh, not ideal. So, Kamazo, if you do get that set up, does just let you keep the board control. And then, we have two Sanji and two Otama. Sanji, again, just for like the, the yellow matchup. Uh, just play around with that. You don't really need Sanji again if you don't want to but Sanji's kind of fun because Again at late game you can kind of use him too to set up a 7k finisher if you want to go for game so I kind of I don't know Sanji is okay, but you can totally drop Sanji and uh, Kind of whatever you want besides there if you want to add a couple more blockers you could do that, but yeah, we're just rocking with uh, Again trying to get coverage against most of the the top decks that I can think of with uh, stuff like that. But yeah, Sakazuki, the main one. The main enemy <laughs> still, so that's why we got this. So I'll jump into some games and show you how it goes. All right, we got Sakazuki. Let's see how this goes. We have uh, we got a decent starting hand. I just don't have any power reduction is the problem. But we'll see. They're going first. They don't have the Tashigi. That's uh, large. <laughs> that's actually big. The fact that they have two searchers now is nuts, man. I can't believe this deck is just, it's like bulletproof. It's so tough because, uh, yeah, they dropped brand new and they got the stage. All right, well, this is going to be, and to she, okay, man. Okay, they got the 2K there. Um, Yeah, we'll take this one because the problem is with all this is it's so tough and annoying to have to deal with. So they have that, probably want to save this. I have Bond Clay, 
So I've dropped Von Clegg and tack him for six, and then we can bring in the boys. All right. So we'll do that. I'll throw one on here. We'll tack him six and five. Then I get rid of this. But it's just really annoying to deal with because, uh, like, with them being able to search like Hound Blaze and everything, and with the searchers and Hound Blaze giving plus three thousand on top of bottom decking, they just get to do so much. So. We'll see what they get. So they got the stage set up. And yeah, they still have four. So we'll see. They have to get rid of... Uh, yeah, so there's the Hound Blaze. So we, we'll take this one. And then we'll block this one with Otama here. So, alright. Luckily, they don't have any other bodies out. So we can at least play around that. Because I can drop Kid for five. Then we get one back for two. So I could attack... Uh, them twice here so we'll do that we'll tack him five on five and then I'll drop kid we'll go one two three get rid of this I'll bring in so I'm at three they're at five we'll bring in Ray get two more cards which is pretty clutch there and then I'll put two on us and then we'll tack him seven on five so that way we get back to six and I could go into Queen next turn if we need to and kind of go from there. So this is where like the Ray and Queen combo, at least against stage Sakazuki, is why I, I've got Queen back in here, just because of all this. Okay, so they drop Rebecca, and they're dropping Hina. Okay, so they're gonna get rid of Kid, I guess. All right. Well, I mean, if they're doing this, I guess I'll just sack Kid now. So we'll just do that. With the uh, if they're playing it like that. So then they have two. So the Murakomo. So we at least keep one alive. Alright, so what do we want to do here? I could minus this down and then attack it. And so Yeah, let's do that. We'll minus uh, this down three. Still leaves me at five, so I can play. I might go for. We might pick up the pace a little bit here. Because even if they block this, it's fine. They're both getting deleted out of here. Alright, so that works. We'll drop uh We'll drop another kid. So we'll go one, two, three. Gear to this. I'll bring in Zoro. And then we'll attack them a couple times here. Try to up the pace. Okay, they take the five. Alright. So then we'll tack him six. So to block that with a 2k. Okay. So I'll be back at six again. So I could drop queen. If we, depending on what they do. So they're at nine. They have Moria, but we bottomed back to Rebecca. So they wouldn't be able to dr drop Rebecca. Like go Moria into Rebecca. So we can play around that. I have the 2k Sanji here. So we can block whatever stinky little attack they're about to do. So no, we'll block that. And yeah, next turn, we'll see. So they have eight. They're definitely looking for, okay, they got another Rebecca, bruh. <laughs> like, that's nutty. But luckily though, they can't get rid of, uh... oh wait, never mind, they can, because they get hit the, uh, whatever. So there's Rob. All right, well, not too much we can do there. Okay, so, we're... ooh, I get Ray. Hmm. Drop Ray or drop Queen. Because it leaves us here. If I drop Queen for five, that leaves me one. I'd have to draw something there. Or I could drop... We have this to drop. I could get rid of whatever. Hmm. There's so a five there. Alright, let me just attack here and see what happens. Okay, that's fine. So we drop this, use a card action onto that. I kind of want to keep this. Uh, I don't need to keep this. So then I could do, we'll go one, two, three. We'll get rid of Rebecca here. I'll bring in Ray to get us some more cards here. All right, so I have two life. They'd have to get rid of this. I have a decent amount of counter. I have one. All right, let's uh, attack them six and five again. Okay, we get them down here. All right, if they can get rid of queen easily, 
then it's a it's an issue. <laughs> if they can't though, then we might be okay. Because again, we bottlenecked three Rebecca's. They if they have Moria in hand, it's not like there's a whole lot they're gonna be able to do, you know. So they're attacking there. No, we'll block out with uh, Shariya here. So they have ten. Dude, they got a fourth Rebecca, bro. <laughs> that's so crazy. Okay, well, not a whole lot I can do about that, you know. And so, they can get rid of both of these. They got another Murakomo. And then they have four. Well, we might be cooked. If they ha if they have Borsalino, I, I don't think I can do too much. I can block both of these, though. So that's good, but I only have four is the, the issue here. So they're trashing the Moria and looking for... So they're attacking seven on five there. Um, well if I block this, I can block that, but then if they attack it with these two, then I can't do anything there. So, yeah, we gotta take that. Dude, I can't believe I got all four of their Rebecca's. Alright, well, we'll take this. Alrighty, so what do I want to do here? They have Rebecca. I have this, so I could get rid of this. They only have three cards in hand. I have one. Okay, I don't have a blocker, though, is the issue. If I drop... Zora, get rid of this, and then we just hope they're they don't have the counter. I think that's that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> so we'll drop this, and then we'll go one, two, three. Get rid of this. I'll bring in. Okay, they don't have the counter. There we go. <laughs> so the uh, the card draw works out. Luckily, they're yeah, bricked in hand. They had Borsellino. Interesting. They could if they would have dropped Borsellino instead of. Uh, going for it with the so they have the four don they would have dropped borsalino rebecca there well i guess because they're bricked in hand here they're they would have lost regardless because i would have got rid of rebecca and still been able to attack twice so it wouldn't have mattered but there we go card draw with queen and ray kind of combo there to be able to try to withstand again sakazuki dude especially say sakazuki is so so annoying to do deal with they, got, they saw all four of the Rebecca's, which is nuts. And then, yeah, getting the, the Hina's. The, we, like, we have to deal with Murakomo now, too. And then, again, Houndblaze. They have two Searchers. Like, it's crazy. Uh, like, this deck is so so annoying to have to deal with. Because they, they literally have, like, no weaknesses. Just straight up. Because they can search for whatever they need. Besides Rob. Rob's, like, the only thing that they can't search for. And I guess Moria. But everything else is Navy. So they have uh, all that. They have the leader card filtering ability as well. It's uh, it's nuts, man. It's such a crazy strong deck. But yeah, that's why I think we just have to run 4-4 four, four of Zoro and Kid and Killer. And then why I've got the card draw is just to to try to keep up with the, the pace of card draw they're able to do. Because again, with like all of the, with the Toshigi, the double surge, it's super, super hard. Because on top of that, they're already getting to draw so many extra cards just for free <laughs> with their leader ability and stuff like that and yeah now i have to deal with the everyone running the stage so all four costs are just for free in range and then they can just drop hound blaze and stuff is nuts but yeah luckily though it will take advantage of things and it worked out for us at the end there with the uh stuff in hand but it was close again if they would have been able to block out of those we would have been cooked but yeah, luckily, everything uh, worked for us on that one. All right, we got some more Sakazuki action here. We'll see how this goes. I've got the we've got Rush, but I don't have any power reduction. Is the only issue. So we'll see. But all right, they get the brand new off the rip. Not ideal, but what can you do? You know, it's either brand new Toshigi. <laughs> so they've got a crazy high chance. All right, so they got the Virgo 2K. And then, luckily though, they had to trash a, a Robert there, so we'll take that. And then we'll do this here, eight on five, knock him down off the rip, and then uh, kind of go from there. And so we'll see what they do here. They may attack twice. They may do a six and a six, which should be kind of annoying. So they have four. Alright, um, no, I'm just gonna block this. 
to force them. I don't know what they got planned here, what they're scheming with this four. And so I just want to block that there. Just in case it's something uh Because I also don't want to take that, then then drop the four on brand new and then attack a seven, you know? Dropping Kuzan. Alright, well. That's uh If only I had a way to deal with that. <laughs> I, don't, or I don't. But we can drop this. We'll put two on. We'll attack them. Seven on five. And then I'll bring in the boys. And then next turn, I guess we'll just rush at them. Okay. Well, we got rid of their two Ks. That's fine. So one, two, three. Get rid of that. Bring in the boys here. Alrighty. Well, yeah, I don't have any power reduction, so Kuzan is uh, about to blast us. <laughs> so we're definitely losing at least one, maybe both, if they have Rob. If they have Rob in uh, Great Eruption, which would be not ideal. But I do have Rush, so we can at least run at him. Okay, they drop Rebecca into Hina. Okay. I guess, oh, Murakomo. So, take that. Okay, I get Ray, which is all right. And yeah, the Murakomo play, a bit annoying. All right, we'll take, uh, I'll take this other one. Okay, I get two Rays. All right. And a third Ray. Okay, so I'm at seven, they're at six. Probably drop, uh... all right, I'll drop Zoro here. We'll attack Kuzan. And then I'll bring in Ray, and then hope we get uh, some kind of power reduction. Okay, so we'll go one, two, three. Get rid of this. Bring in Ray here. Okay, thankfully we do. So we got Max. I'll drop this here. And then attack him five on two. Alrighty, and then we'll drop uh, Zoro. Attack him five on five. So if I get him down to cards in hand, that uh, is beneficial for us as well. Because we have Kid and Killer. Alright, so they sack a Tashigi. Which is fine. We just got to... We've gotten through most of their, their 2k counters. Because I don't think they run that many. Like more than 8. So we got 2 there and 3. So... Able to do that. I can play... We have a 2k with Kamazo. So I can block something there. Problem is these are both at 3 and this is at 4. So... Luckily, I mean, they're not a stage set up. And stuff like that. We got rid of a, They have one Rebecca in here. So, I mean, if they have Moria, they could drop Rebecca next turn. Okay, never mind. They get the stage set up. Man! <laughs> Alright, not too much. Uh, Alright. But we'll see. Again, not the worst because I still have Ray to bring in. And I have Kid and Killer. So, we'll see what happens. Because, man, if only. If we had them at two, if they wouldn't have blocked out like that and being able to bring a kid and killer would be pretty helpful here but we'll see it depends what they do I don't know if they have Hound Blaze because if they have Hound Blaze okay they do well that's a bit of an issue alrighty so 8 on 5 there can't do anything about that I don't know what they have for this 5 if they load up then yeah can't do anything there so they trash another Murakomo to draw a card so they're leaving 2 so for like brand new search, okay, well, we'll take that. So they drop brand new. Okay, so they only have one here. Let's see what they grab. Hound Blaze, okay. Well, this is actually kind of great. because uh, So they're at eight, I'm here. I can drop this, I can put the two on here, pop it. For sure. So we can do that. Because yeah, there's nothing they can do there. I can then drop a... Uh, Ray again, get us two more cards, and then we'll go one, two, three, get rid of this, and I'll bring in, oh yeah, I guess Kid and Killer, and then we'll attack him. So now we just gotta, we gotta go for it. Okay, so we get him down to two, which is pretty big. So we know they have a Hound Blaze, but we have two more Kid and Killers. I do have this and this to block out, potentially, but obviously they get rid of whatever they would kind of want here with the, uh, the Hound Blaze, because they can use Leader and this. Okay, they're dropping the Moria. 
into Rebecca. Unless I'm, I'm trying to think. If I have another Murakomo, that'd be a bit annoying. Okay, Toshigi. Okay, they draw Hina. And then play Hina. Alrighty. So I guess they're going to get rid of this and then use Hound, like, Hound Blaze this and then attack this. So Virgo. Alrighty. Yeah, so they're going to Hound Blaze this out of here and then attack. I'm going to block it. We're, gonna, we're making the play. We're making the wild and wacky play here. So now I'll do this and this. We'll keep Kid and Killer alive. And I'll just have to try to clear their board here the best way we can. So we know they have the Virgo. Alright, so I have this. It doesn't super matter. Um, I'm at 5. They're there, so I could drop Ray again. And then we can get rid of this. I can pop this and this and then attack them. And so that's probably our best play. And so we'll do that that there and then we'll go one two three get rid of this bring in another kid and killer here I'll attack this seven on five alrighty we know they have Virgo so I could I'm trying to think I have two what do you have for counter in hand I only hit, can block out a seven because if they attack me there that they could win for hmm um, yeah, I just need to get him down to one. So we'll attack that five on two, and then I'll hold the one here, and let's attack him seven on five. Okay, so we get him down to one. Alrighty. Well, if they have another Moria, we're cooked. But can't take any chances with uh, everything, because, again, I'm low on Don. I haven't had... No ramp, so they're trashing that Borsalino to draw another card. All right. Well, we gotta hope they're. They can't have too much many Hound Blazes and Murakomos left, right? <laughs> They've already hit two, two and two. So, hoping for for that. I guess Rob. They may have. Well, they got two Robs in here too. So we'll see. It depends on what they can do. Obviously, I'll use this as counter if we have the opportunity. But again, just with this, I can get rid of somebody. Moria, they'll probably just attack King Killer, get rid of that. But I'll be at four. So we'll see. So they're attacking this King Killer and minusing it down. I'm going to go this and this, just block it. So they have nine. Okay. But I mean, uh, pretty much. Uh, they're dropping Kuzana, draw another card. Try to stall. I mean, if they can't get rid of this, then there might be the game there. So we'll see. Because if they. Yeah, if they can't get rid of this, they can't do both. They can't drop a blocker and. Uh, Okay, so they drop Sabo. All right, we might be, we have a chance. It just depends on how much counter they have in hand. And so, I will, because we have this, I have both of these, I can get rid of this. We'll put uh, two on Ray here. I'll attack him seven on five. And then we're just gonna launch just uh, a myriad of attacks. So they block that, which is fine. Okay, so I gotta drop uh, Gordon then onto this, and then we'll go one, two, three. Get rid of that. Bring in Kid and Killer here. Okay, so we'll attack them seven on five. So they take that. All right, we'll attack them five on five. All right, then all like if they have two two Ks, it's GGs. If they don't, we win. All right, cool. There we go. Sage Sakazuki again. That was, uh, I don't know, that was tough. <laughs> it was at least a little scary there when we couldn't get rid of the first Kuzan and stuff. But, uh, 
yeah, able to bring things back because again, we're just leaning in on just card draw going crazy. And yeah, getting the rays obviously super clutch, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that worked out for us. Again, Kitten Killer is just kind of <laughs> pretty much the big savior in these matches now, just because of that extra, the 2K is just so large and being a play around that. But yeah, glad we can get another Sakazuki W there, especially because uh, they got the stage. Luckily though, Again, if they were able to remove uh, the Kid and Killer, we would have been kind of cooked. I'm not going to lie. That would have been that good. <laughs> Just be, That's why it's so tough to beat them, because they have so many removal cards now. And they can just search them at will. It's just crazy. It's it's so so wild that, uh, that they got it all. Like, yeah. Very excited for when this gets banned. Just because it opens up for, like, so many more decks that can actually be like played and be able to uh all the other dynamics and everything like that all right we got some uh, law v law action our opponent decided to choose first so we'll see how uh things go they're dropping the gordon interesting dang we have three rays it's kind of crazy all right i've seen this play uh happen in more and more so they can kind of but i don't know if going uh Oh, okay, they're just not attacking. Okay, I mean... Alright. <laughs> Let's see what I want to do. I could drop... Uh... Well, we could save this, actually. Because, uh, yeah, I could drop uh, this onto here and then attack. I don't think it'll matter, though, if I'm being honest. So, let me just attack here. Because, uh... Yeah, they're going to take that. I'm at four. Hmm. Because if I drop this, go down three, go to the boys, it gives me to five. Um, because I have three rays is the problem. I wanted to save this, and I have the two Ks. Because if I do this and get rid of this, and they have Gordon to get rid of something, so it doesn't super matter. I guess I'll save. Uh, I guess I'll save, so we'll do that. Just minus this down, so I can go one, two, three. Get rid of this. Bring in the boys there. I'm assuming they they have to have another like Gordon or Max though. Okay, so they're dropping Kid. Okay, never mind. So they were just doing that so they could drop Kid. Interesting. Well, we'll see. I don't. They didn't attack us, so I don't know if they were trying. If they're trying to like hand starve or what. But yeah, they dropped the Gordon there. Because I, I guess they assumed that I was gonna go for Shariya. Okay, we get a huge pull for us. Cause now I can get rid of their kid. Okay, they're going there. Um, so they're dropping out of two, going to Ray. Okay, so that puts them at three. Alrighty. Well, I can. We can do a bunch of stuff here. So I got the boys as well. So what do I want to do? They're at three. I have three rays, which I do not need. I can get rid of kid and bring in the boys for there. So it leaves me here and here. So if I wanted to, we could do a, we could do six and try to get two Ks out of their hand and then get rid of this. Okay. We'll see what they do. They're leaving. They okay? Wow. Well, I mean, they played a uh, did things a little out of sequence there. All right. So they take that. Interesting. Um. Oh, here. Let me do. Actually, let me put one here. Let me attack them here because I forgot about Shariah. So attack them again here. And then we'll drop a Gordon to get rid of this. I'll bring in the boys. Okay, so I'll drop Max, so we can get rid of Kid here, and then I'll go one, two, three, into the boys there to give us one. Put another one here, attack them, seven on five, because that way we can play around Shariah, and they can't just block the easy leader there. So they take the hit, interesting, okay. 
So they're down to one. They're up to eight cards though. I'm gonna be at six next turn. We have Ray, they're at five. I got 2k for defense and then I could definitely, I don't need like all three Rays. I need max two, might only need one. So they drop Law, okay. So attacking five on three, all right, that's fine. And then attacking me five on five. So they're leaving one. So I guess they are going to be able to get rid of one. Okay, we'll take that then. So I got Bond Clay. So, okay, I so they should have definitely, okay. Not, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're playing. Should, I feel like you just got to go for board control. So they're bottom decking that. All right. Cause they're down to two because now I could have definitely okay they bring in Ain, puts them at three okay so I'm here I can get rid of we could drop this to get rid of Shariah and then I could just uh, go for the attack him twice here to play around that um sure we'll drop this down we'll put a uh, we got five so I can drop kid so we'll go one, two, three, get to this. So they're at three, I'm at three. I could bring in Ray of my own and try to get some more defense. So yeah, we'll just do that. Get some more counters here. Okay, I get another max, so I could minus this down as well. All right, so that's kind of clutch there. Minus this down there. So we'll do five on two. Alrighty, and then we'll attack them five on five. And then I have plenty of counter, because they're only going to have five. They'd have to get rid of, uh... Alright. They have to get rid of Kid here, so we'll see what they can do. If they can't get rid of Kid, then we'd probably win. If they can, they would have to have, like, Kid and Killer. And then go for it, because I have Kid and Killer. We'll be at six. So if they don't get a blocker down, then we're big chilling. So, we'll just see what they do. Um, well, if they're leading with five, because, uh, yeah, I can just block with kid. And so, we'll see, uh, we'll see what transpires here. Because, uh, alright, they drop, uh, okay, they drop law, so that gets it down to four, and then Otama. I mean, kind of fine with that, because they only attack with the these, and then now I can definitely block out of everything. So we're okay there. So they get rid of Kid. They bring in Ray. Alrighty. Cause yeah, no blocker is fine, so I can block that. And then no, we can block that again. And then no, I'll block it with uh, this. Cause they don't, they don't have a blocker, so we and since I have Kid and Killer in my hand, we can play around that. So I can do, all right, we'll lead with five, and then we'll do seven seven. So all right, that's fine. So I'll put two on, tack them seven, because now they'd have to get rid of two cards. All right, they take the hit there. We'll put two, put seven on them again. Because again, they have to get rid of two cards, and Kid and Killer is going to be attacking 9k with the two we have left. So then, mathematically, there's nothing they can do. Yeah, or, yeah, they can't block that either. Dang, they had Kid and Killer. Interesting that they, uh... Well, they might have just gotten it off in Ray. I guess that makes sense. So, yeah. There we go. Uh, playing around. Uh, we got the... The mirror there. And, yeah, things, uh... Work out. We come out on top, so we'll take it. Oh yeah, we got some blue, yellow, ace action, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I don't think I have to worry about any kind of removal, so we'll slide Max out off the rip here. So they're attacking 5 and 5. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we get the boys, which is pretty massive, and they drop the, the peel off there. Alright, so this allows me to drop Bon Clay. Now we can attack them 6 and 5, they take that, and then now we can use our ability, because we got the, the most optimal sort of thing there with Bon Clay into the boys because now we'll be at six and so even though we already have max on the board it would put it to like the situation around that so 
We'll see. All right, they get their able to hit one thing, so able to do that. So they're attacking us nine and five. That's fine because we can now get kids set up, and so we'll drop kid down, and then we'll go one, two, three. Get rid of this. Bring in because I'm at three again. Probably just bring in the boys again. Get us there. Um, I'll attack them five and five because they have a bunch of cards in hand, which is a little bit of a issue. But then we'll attack them seven on five there. But we are operating with a uh, high amount of Don here, so pretty much we just gotta kind of try to wear them out the best we can. I have Queen we can drop, so they drop the Ace into the baby Ace. All right, well it's a bit unfortunate there. So seven on five. Um, no, I'll hit. I guess. Hmm. Kind of want. Should we drop Shariah next turn? Cause, uh, or do I keep both of these? Okay, we'll take the hit actually, cause I have this, cause I I, want, I can bottom deck this, and so we'll sack a uh, kid, and then they drop Garp, cause uh, yeah, we can get rid of this and then go from there, cause I'm at eight, cause then yeah, I can save this, I can drop this for three, we'll be able to get rid of uh, pretty much everything here. All right. Attack them seven on seven with Bond Clay. Cause then we get rid of something here. All right. Um, we have Max. So I could drop this. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want to just do. If I do this, then I could put. So this puts it down to four. I'm at eight because I could drop Queen still, and then it gives us three. Bring in something off of that. Because we could do that and that. Actually, yeah, here, let's try to get uh, some cards out of their hand first. We'll play, uh, we're playing the long. Okay, never mind, they just take the hit. All right, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, well, I have seven cards. We'll drop, uh, drop queen. Do that, get two more. You gotta select a card to trash. Um, dang, I don't know what to get rid of. We got so much. I guess we'll get rid of this. And that leaves me a three. So they're at seven. All right. Um, I guess I'll just put three on here. We'll attack them eight on seven. And then I'll just use my ability and where are we at seven? I can bring in uh, Shariah. So one, two, three, we'll get rid of this. We'll bring in Shariah. Block any leader shenanigan combos. If they do that again, I have Ray to be able to bring in. We have another kid. So we have two blockers, so they're dropping Sabo. Okay, well, they're gonna have to use the Sabo and get rid of Shariah. And so, all right. But it's not Rush, so we're kind of chilling. And it's only 6K, so I can get rid of it because we're gonna be at our optimal Don here. All right, I'll just do this. So they have five if they drop Ace, I guess. Yeah. Seven on one, okay. So they do that. Um, well, what do I want to do here? I could kind of get rid of everything because we're slowly wearing them out. If I drop this and get rid of this, or I could drop this down to four and we attack it again. And then I have both of these. So that'd be three. That leaves me with three. Hmm. Or do I drop Kid and Killer? We attack, we could attack this as well. Um, hmm. <laughs> Actually, let's drop, uh, we'll drop one Otama, drop this down to five, and then let me attack a, a couple fives and get rid of some cards in their hand. All right, that's fine. So then we do this. All right. So that leaves them there. Well, how much do I have here? So put two on, attack seven. Um... Do I need anything else? Because then one for this, that leaves me with two. Well, do I have, I have the four? Actually, wait, I can just do this. Okay, we're fine. All right, so now I can drop, uh, so I'll drop Kid and Killer. Now attack seven on five. Okay, interesting. So they do that. I can get rid of this. 
bring in this leaves me two I still have this and this and so or do I want to get rid of because it doesn't matter which one I get rid of for the one so I'll just do this then on there and then we'll go one two three get rid of that bring in Ray to get a couple more cards here okay and then yeah we'll do that so I have all of this and yeah we'll just play around uh, so they're attacking 10 10 on 5 I can block this so if they have this can I block the 11 though so 9 10 11 12 I can so we will do that I want to bait them into putting all I want them to just go for it so make sure I can uh, do this so wanted them to do that and yeah I don't want them to do anything else <laughs> in case they had anything so I knew we could counter out of the 11 so that's why I just took this because it wouldn't have mattered either way I didn't want them uh, just in case playing the board control and they have this so I guess they could have it wouldn't have mattered because they have two aces and then we got the other ace so we were good either way but yeah there we go all right we got some Sabo action got some three brothers action going for us uh, today so I don't think I got to worry about anything so I'm gonna slide that out because we also have another Gordon so we'll see see what they do because uh, Sabo can be tricky if they get the life triggers so all right they don't have a, a three cost so we can do that all right we get another Gordon um well the problem here is we got all cost reduction and card draw which I do not need all right, so I'll attack them five on five, and we'll see if they get any, like a trigger or anything. They do not, okay. Then I will do that, and then we're just gonna end our turn here, because I don't have the ramp combo, but I wanna get up to kid. So next turn we'll be at six, so that way I can drop kid, and then it doesn't matter, because we already have this on the board, but in case it did, because yeah, we wanna get rid of Karasu here, so they do that in the Nami. All right. So we get Kid and Killer, which is pretty large there. And I get Queen. Okay, cool. Because, uh, where I'm going to be at? I'll be able to do, so we can do five here. See what they get. All right, so they take that. I want to do that. We'll drop, uh, drop Kid. We want to go one, two, three. Get to that. I'm at seven cards, so I can't bring in Ray, unfortunately. But we got him down to two. So I guess we're pushing the pace here with Kid and Killer. So we'll attack them 7 on 5. Alrighty, and then we'll attack them again 7 on 5. So we'll put them in a tight spot. Because they're going to have to drop something and probably use ability. And I have a 2k. We could use a queen and a ray if we need to to protect anything. But we'll see. They'd have to put one on here. So they dropped the Luffy. Okay. So they put one on. They gotta put two on if they wanna use the, uh, if they wanna stop the blocker. So I can do this and then do this. Because they didn't put two on him. So, alright. They're doing that. And then they're attacking there. Why? They're leaving one. So I'll do this and this. It's for like a rad beam, I guess. Is what they got all right um oh let me just attack them seven on five off the off the rip so they get luffy there okay we'll attack them seven on five again as we know they got rad beam okay interesting well i'm gonna put one on kid and attack him seven on five Okay, so they boost themselves up to six. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter then. I'll do uh, put two on kid. We'll attack him eight on six. And then, uh, oh, I know this is, it has to be, yeah, rad beam. They have to have one. All right, so they do that. So then we can go one, two, three, get rid of that. I'll bring in Ray. We're able to do that and that. And then I'll put the three on us here. We'll attack them eight on six again. And then, okay, yeah, they're bricked in hand. Based on uh, how that was going, 
what was expected because we knew they had this and we still had two life based on the stuff here it would not would not even if they were able to block out we probably would have got them the next turn because uh we got another kid and killer and we had the two k's here so that works out quick uh <laughs> quick couple of dubs on ace and saba Alrighty, we got a uh, black yellow luffy action here going up against uh, so they got the mocking off the rip see what they got only because I feel like it becomes a if they get a are able to hit a combo so if they have a baby brother combo and the life one becomes a little stinky there but outside of that we're normally okay and so we have a well drawn the boys there's pretty pretty large I'm not gonna lie cuz uh, now we can do a bunch of stuff coming up cuz uh, I don't need to drop Shariah okay dang they got ace well that's uh, a bit annoying so seven on five Sure. Okay, we get the boys again. Because I'm going to try to... And then 8 on 5. Okay, so we get Ray. I'm okay with that. So we're here. Um, At 4. They're at 2. So 7 here. I'm at 4. I guess we'll just go for the board control. Try to get them uh, burnt out early. So that drops some um, there. Okay, so I'll attack him five and four. And then I can drop Kid and Killer and attack him seven on four. So we'll see if we bait anything out here. Is a plan around that? Okay, so they take that. So that kind of changes things. Um. Well, now I kind of just want to drop a uh, Shraya down, and then we we'll go one, two, three, gear to this, and bring in the boys there. All right. So then we can do that because they're at seven. I feel like this is kind of the best thing. Leave them at two. Because I don't want them to play another like Machino or something and then be able to do anything like that. Um I'm gonna block this one because I have Ray. They have five, so I'm assuming they have another ace. Okay, never mind, they're dropping Sabo. Okay. So they're dropping Sabo there. Well if I uh, we just get a Gordon or because I can drop this Ray. Ooh, we got a kid. Hmm. But I'm at five, they're at five. I think it's better if I just drop a uh, ray here. Okay, cool. We get our max that we need there. So then I can go one, two, three. Get rid of this. Bring in boys again. And we'll take a couple swings at them. Because where are they at? They're only at seven. Okay, so they have what in here? Ace? They have three aces. So do they have another baby ace is the, the question we'll see <laughs> we will see if they have another if they don't have another baby ace I wonder if they block out of this okay so we'll see what happens here because again I have Shariah to block the leader and if they even if they play the aces don't have anything I have six so I could just stack it all on Shariah and we can blast them so we'll see what they got so Sabo Okay, so we'll see if they have... They'd have to have the baby forms here for this to, uh, to work. But... Playing this way... Okay, they're dropping Garp. Alright, they're searching. Dang it, they got the baby ace. Alright, well, that's lucky for them. <laughs> Unfortunate for us. Playing a little aggressive. We might get caught. We'll see. So they're attacking 7 on 5. Um, I could block... But I don't think I need to. Because they, they have to drop... Uh, yeah, they have to do this. And then their attack not, or 11, I can just block with Sabo. So we're chilling there. Or Shariah, I meant, not Sabo. <laughs> so they're attacking there. I'll do this and this. So we can block that out. All right, well, that's a clutch pull. <laughs> now I don't have to worry about like any. So they're at nine. I could attack that. So we get rid of this, bring in. Well, if I bring in Kid and Killer, they're at seven, eight, nine. So I could attack them twice, but they'd have to get rid of uh, two things. So maybe I'll play, play the board here as well. Um. So what if I drop Kid? Just drop Kid. I have one to get rid of this, and then it would leave me with one. I could minus this down to five, and then we swing at this until we clear everything. 
Cause they already, dang, they got all their aces in here. Okay, I feel like that's the the best move. So we'll drop Max onto this here, and then just in case, I'll drop this, and we'll go one, two, three. We'll get rid of this. Bring in Kid and Killer here. Um, so this is at seven. So this is at nine. So I could use this and just attack here as well. Hmm. Okay, well, let me do this, seven on seven. Let's get rid of something. And then I'll use Shariah and then I'll attack it with the, because Shariah becomes the same power as their leader, so they're at nine. So then let's just attack this nine on seven. And see what they do. Okay, so they do that. So if I play Otama over, so I drop Otama, dang it. I'd have to get rid of one of these, and then I got, because I got, well, they only have two cards, so never mind, I can just drop, uh, we'll drop Otama over this, minus this down, so I'll attack five and five, okay, and then attack again five and five, alright, so we're able to do that there, uh, Shariah is at 9k for this entire turn, so Shariah, should be safe and yeah nothing they could do the reason i did it that sequence is for their ability to work they have to discard a card from their hand so they would have had to get rid of borsalino there and i still have the two so even if they would have brought i mean they could have sent that sent ace yeah they could have did two aces actually but i have this to block one and so they would have been cooked the the following turn because I could have just taken both of these and then with Kid blocked uh, either of the other ones. But, oh, actually, no, they couldn't. They're only at 9. My bad. I thought they were at 10. Yeah. They have to have 10 to play Moria, so there's nothing they could do. So, there we go. <laughs> so, there we go. We got the, the trifecta and all the back-to-back-to-back uh, -to -back -to -back of the, the three brothers there. So, that's kind of fun.